me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's a European toy haul. It's in a Disney bag. This Disney bag came from Marcy. Is it Marcier or Marcel in France? I'm really bad with the pronunciations. But this came from that Disney store, and there's other items in here, not just Disney. I did get a bunch of stuff whilst I was out there. So let's just pop this on the floor, make it easier. So we went to Vigo, Spain, Marcier, France. And uh, Lisbon, Portugal, um, Citi di Vecchia or Citi di Vecchia in uh, Italy, uh, among some other ports. So those are the highlight ones, and there was um, a lovely comic book st store on our way called Norma's Comics. Get a quick drink of coffee. That just splashed that in my face. There's <laughs> Norma's Comics, which was um, quite um, a little walk out of the city, uh, so we managed to reach that and. Uh, we also found another place called the Disney Treasures, uh, which had a bunch of pop vinyls and things like that. If you saw the hot, the um, there's a vlog that we did that I posted the other day. There was the toy vlog. I hope you saw that. If not, link in the description and at the end of this video, check it out. And you'll be able to see the shops that we visited. And these are the items that, that we found that day, basically. So, and Mrs. Supersoul wanted to film her own video this time around. Um, so this is my all of the things that I got. I bought. So. Let's start. We'll start with Disney Store. So Disney Store in France. It was the first time I was seeing this in person. I haven't actually seen this in the stores in the UK, only online. Which is the Marvel Select Spider-Man from Homecoming, but it's the unmasked variant. So we actually have a Tom Holland Spider-Man. Yeah. So I picked this up. This was um, in the because uh, there were everything was in. Uh, pound and euro. I can't find the sticker. I think it was about 22, 23, 24 euros, something like that. But it's well worth it. It's the Spider Man Homecoming and it's the Disney Store exclusive variant. So I will be reviewing this and comparing it to their previous incarnation and having a look at that head. I also want to see if that head will fit on my Iron Spidey. Mm. Oh, camera's gone completely out of focus now. So yeah, interesting. We'll, uh, we'll definitely be reviewing that real soon. Okay, next item. So in the pop vinyl store, <coughs> I did find myself looking at some pops, and I got myself an Old Man Logan. I don't actually have this in my collection, and I've been dying for it for ages. So I finally got myself an Old Man Logan. I will be doing a pop vinyl review on this one, guys, just because it's, it's Logan, it's Wolverine, it's one of my favourites, I love the character. So I'm going to be definitely giving you guys an up-close look at Old Man Logan. Are you excited to see that one? Let me know in the comments. Um, this one was actually just 18... Uh, 18 euros 95 which is an amazing price because in the UK these are upwards of 20 so I mean you can normally find these for about 20 22 but obviously 18 euros is like 15 quid a little bit cheap uh, cheaper than buying them in the UK I want that cable now although they are releasing a cable for the new Deadpool movie as well but yeah awesome pop wouldn't you agree let's pop him there let's pop the pop there yeah no, okay. <laughs> then we got some more gear. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm struggling to find everything. Uh, sunglasses. What we need in those in the UK. <laughs> Although I was surprised at how warm it actually was here in the UK when I came back. I had to put uh, my vest up straight back on and my shorts. Because I, I come off that boat ready for winter, you know what I mean? I came off ready for a bit of cold and it was really warm insane so we did get a bunch of other things we got some guardians of the galaxy volume 2 um mystery uh, vinyl missions um i really hope we get the mystery one which i don't know which that is but we do have a star lord that i got from disneyland paris ages ago and um, i'm hoping to get rocket raccoon and Groot this time around and I want to see what that exclusive one is. So we do have, uh, we do have four chances of getting something awesome. And these were all marked down. These were all five dollars, uh, sorry, five euros. So I didn't think that were too bad. They were all marked down from ten. So I think that were pretty cheap. So we've got a few chances of grabbing something awesome. So I will be doing a video just based on these and looking those up. But don't worry, because we will have some blind bag bonanza fun right now. 
because we do have a pint size hero. Obviously it's only the one pint size hero, so there's no point making a video just dedicated to one. So let's break him out of the packaging on this video. Let's see who we got from the pint size hero range. Who do we want actually? Let's look at the back. I would like the, the Rocket Raccoon, you know I'm a big fan of Rocket Raccoon. Uh, I think I've got a little Groot somewhere. I think I already have that Groot. So yeah, I think Yondu maybe, or maybe a wonderful Rocket Raccoon. Maybe a little, little Gamora. Let's see. Oh, Ah, say it and it does come true. So we got a little Gamora in celebration of Infinity War. So that is cool. Nice little Gamora. She looks really cool with the red in the hair and stuff. Awesome. Nice, let's pop with the rest of the Mystery Minutes over there. <coughs> okay. And then finally, guys, one thing I picked up, which I was quite surprised to find, because I think this is pretty old now. Oh, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, this is Series 2 of Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End by NECA Real Toys. Um, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen one of these in the flesh before. So I was quite surprised when I saw it, and they only wanted twenty-four ninety-five, which again is euros, so it works out at about twenty quid maybe. I didn't do it. I haven't done official conversions, guys. So please excuse my uh, inaccuracies. But it can't, it's not. It's not as much as it would have cost me to buy it over here in the UK. That's what I'm saying. It was cheaper to buy in Europe. And uh, Captain Jack Sparrow. I haven't got a Jack Sparrow figure, so really excited to have that in the collection, and really excited to review it. So guys, what are your thoughts on this haul? Hey, which items are you looking forward to seeing? I know I've been bombarding you with hauls recently. A lot of stuff has built up while we've been away. So I'm trying to show off the stuff that we've got ready to move on to the reviews. So I hope you're enjoying these videos anyway. And apologies about the vest wearing in the videos recently. It is really warm here in the UK at the moment. It is coming around to summer again and I'm in my little office which is very, very packed at the moment full of stuff and I'm not kidding when I say it is packed full of stuff <laughs> I can barely move in here now <laughs> but what are your thoughts let us know in the comments down below if you're new to the channel guys smash that subscribe button it really supports us it really helps out it helps keep making awesome videos thank you very much for watching guys and until next time may the force be with you bye <laughs>